This is the story of Vir Barbaru's secret. Baba Bishandas used to tell this story. There was one king and he had two horns on his head. He had one special barber who did not tell anyone that he had two horns because that was the question of his trust. But when that barber left the body or died, the king was very concerned. He thought, now another barber will not be able to digest this information. He will tell other people my secret, that I have two horns, and that is not good. So he called another barber, whose name was Vir Babaru. He asked him, do you know why I have called you? Vir Babaru replied, yes, because I am a very good barber, and I can cut your hair beautifully. That's why you have called me. The king said, well, that is one thing. But there is one more reason why I have called you here. Vir Babaru replied, I don't know that other reason. So the king took off his cap and showed him, You see, I have two horns. But you should not tell this to anyone. If you tell it to anyone, I will kill you. Also your family, plus the person to whom you tell this secret. So mine, do not tell this to anyone. So the barber said, Okay, I will do that. <coughs> But the barber had the habit that if he could not tell something to others, he would not feel good, and he could not hold anything else, not even food, in his stomach. So when he went back to his home, and he was not allowed to tell this secret to others, his stomach went on growing and growing, because that thing was still in his stomach. Eventually he became sick, because he could not tell the secret to anyone. Many doctors were called, but that was not a disease that any doctor could cure. So some wise people were called, and they thought that it had something to do with this barber's mind. So they told him, you tell us the truth. Why is this? He said, well, I have one thing. I have one secret. But if I tell this thing to anyone, then I will be killed, and my family will also die. But if I don't tell this secret, then you see my condition. My stomach grows and grows, and I cannot eat, and I will die in either case. So one of the wise men told him, Vir Babaru was lying on the bed. He could not even walk, he was so sick. One wise man told him, well, you have four people take your bed into the forest and then go away. And then facing any tree, you tell whatever secret you have on your mind. In that way, you can get rid of this and your stomach will become all right. So Vir Babaru had four people take him into the woods and facing toward one tree after the people had left. He said in a very impressive chant, Vir Barbaru says this, the king has two horns. Now it so happened that later that tree was cut down and the wood was used in making two musical instruments, a harmonium, which is like a little organ, and a drum or tabla. Later still, that king's wife gave birth to a son. So the king called all the musicians to celebrate. It so happened that the musicians who came were using that same harmonium and that drum or tabla. Now before starting a program, they had to tune their instruments. And when the musician started tuning a harmonium, the first note that he pressed, the sound came, the king has two horns. The people were amazed and asked, who says this? And when the tabla player started to play the drum, it said, Vir Barbaru, Vir Barbaru. <laughs> the harmonium was sounding like, the king has two horns. And the people would say, who is saying this? And the tabla would sound like, Vir Barbaru, Vir Barbaru. <laughs> <laughs> so then the king took off his hat and said, it is true, I have two horns. So people like Vir Barbaru cannot hold anything in their stomach. And this thing happened. If we people get the opportunity from God to do His service, we should hold everything within us, but not like Vir Babaru. And we should not let our stomachs go on increasing and increasing. We should digest that. First of all, develop humility, and then keep that humility within you. Children's 
sang very sweet bhajan. It's very good that Mary is working very hard and she is teaching the children to sing the bhajan. It's very good. They are learning a lot from that. And I'm very grateful to Kent Pignal Principal Pab also. Because he tells you a story every day. I'm very happy that Kant has told you the story of Veer Babu exactly in the same manner as I had told the dear ones in the satsang. Many other people have tried to relate this story, but they could not produce that humorous <laughs> feeling in the story by hearing it. <laughs>